What's going on YouTube? I am back. I am back and better than ever. I can't wait for this year. We're actually getting geared up to go to work tomorrow. That's why I'm at the shop getting things, just making sure everything's dialed in. Um, it's been about a year, I think, probably pretty close since I put my last video on YouTube. So I'm glad to be back. I'm making a personal goal this year that this is going to happen. I'm going to do YouTube. Um, we're going to talk business we're gonna talk a little bit of equipment we're gonna talk about whatever we want to talk about that day whenever I decide to pull the camera out I can't wait but as of today like I said I'm in the shop um, we're getting getting things geared up getting things cleaned off blown off making sure everything's running and we're getting ready to go for 8 a.m. in the morning I can't wait so I've got a few new things to show you guys for this year I've made some pretty big changes and, and I think I'm gonna make even more changes in the coming weeks and we'll talk about that. But for now, let's head to the trailer. So here we are in the trailer. Not much has changed since last year in here. Uh, this uh, steel backpack, I got an Echo backpack that's actually down. I need to bust this apart as the fuel system's gone kind of wonky on me in there. Um, I just purchased that battery powered steel hedge trimmer two days ago. I haven't even used it yet. The battery's in the shop charging. Looking forward to putting that to work tomorrow and seeing what it's got. Um, on this side, just like it's same as last year, guys. Uh, 2620 FS94R, the Combi uh, 130R, and then the old sh trusty Shindaiwa down here, man. This thing has been through the works. I'm actually just waiting for this thing to quit running one day so I can go buy a new one, but it just won't quit. I want to show you guys this. You see this right here? Look at that. That's been broke since like July of last year and it just keeps it on going. I don't know what's going on with it. But anyway guys, 6x12 uh, enclosed. It works, uh, you know, for now. But this is what I'm going to be changing, possibly. Um, but we'll talk about that in the, in the next little thing here. So let's head over there. And this is the biggest change. As I'm sure you guys seen in the video intro, pretty stoked about this. So I changed the trailer because I got a new mower. It's it's grass collection. That's all it is. I'm I'm gonna go to collecting like 90%, if not 100%. And there's a, a hybrid trailer that I've really been studying and I've done a lot of looking into, and I think I'm gonna pull the trigger on. It. I think I'm gonna have one built. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about right here. So this trailer. It's going to allow me to, to back the walker directly up into the back of that dump, dump the walker, pull back out, keep going, instead of having to deal with bags or the, the box dump method where you set the little Tupperware things down or throw it in the back of my truck. Or... Okay, let's back up a little bit. I actually looked into turning my truck into a dump truck. It's going to run me about 4600 bucks, which is, eh, I mean, it's, it's whatever, but I can have that trailer built for you know 5600 or whatever it was and that, that totally just makes sense to me because it's not all about maintenance this year either guys it's it's about um, ponds and water features so look look forward to more of that stuff we're gonna get serious about that I've got another 6x12 sitting back there with a pile of junk in it that needs to be pulled out and gone to the dump as soon as it's full got a 200 gallon skid sprayer over there that lands in the back of my truck works great it's, it's awesome you know everything is going good guys so if you guys remember from any videos last year you'll you remember that i'm, I'm a huge advocate about it the equipment really doesn't matter like it it does but it doesn't what i mean by that is obviously you have equipment to do what you need to do everybody's business is different everybody's market's different everybody's grass types different everyone like you you show me 10 different people in the same business and I'm going to show you at least eight different ways to do the same thing and they're all going to be right. Now some may be better than others but they're all going to be right. We won't go any further into that. Anyway guys you, you may see all this stuff laying around here in the shop but I still like I, I can't get over like passing that guy with a push mower in the back of his truck and a curve shaft trimmer and a gas can and just looking over and thinking man he's out there doing it you know, he's trying to build something that's awesome that's that i love it 
I love it. So, guys, use what you got. If it gets the job done, it gets the job done. That's bottom line. All of my equipment choices and, the, and what I use in my business is 100% based off what's going to benefit my customers the most. Uh, you may look at this walker and say, well, he bought a C model. There's reasons for that. There's reasons for everything I do, and it all benefits my customer. Uh, and particularly the walker, is, it's a weight, weight thing for me. My properties, even, even the HRC 216s, those leave ruts sometimes. And I don't mean like major ruts, obviously, but I'm a perfectionist. And, and I, want, I want it to be perfect. And if we have pretty good rains, like we most generally do, especially during the spring, we get a lot of rain. Like, I gotta have mowers, and, and if it's, if I lose a little bit of power to gain a less, uh, a less heavy machine, I'm gonna do it every time. If I, if I get to where I need a T25i, um, I'm gonna go buy one. It, it's, it's that simple, but right now, this thing right here, it's gonna do everything I need it to do and some. It's gonna give my customers the best possible quality that I can ask for. And I'm super excited to get out there and get going with it. Um, that, that's about it, guys. I don't want to drag this on too much longer. My camera is actually about to die. But I appreciate you watching. I can't wait. 2018's here. I'm going to work tomorrow. And uh, let's go out there and get it. Make this year the year. This year is going to be the year, guys. See you next time.